claimed as the postcard town of Cebu. The coastal municipality of Bolhoon is also the home of our Blessed Virgin Mary. Tana! Kuyuk taninyo as we mark another adventure in visiting the Jubilee Churches in Cebu. Aside from its picturesque view, to the church that withstands the test of time. We're here today at Patricinio de Maria Parish, one of the churches in Cebu that holds two national titles. First, as a national historical landmark in 1999, and second, as a national cultural treasure in 2001. Given its high historical value, behold, the magnificent of more than 400 years of celebrating her grace. The image was found in 1599 as the Augustinian friar Bartolome de Garcia, OSA, brought the image of Our Lady of Patrocinio from Spain. This image features Madonna holding a child on her left hand and a scepter which established the persona of a virgin. Built of coral stones and located on a hill near the sea, the church is a part of a complex and was a fortress church. It was first built by the Augustinian Friars in 1783 and completed by Fray Julian Bermejo, OSA, in the mid-1800s. It is known for its original terracotta roof tiles and its distinct folk art, or Filipino Baroque style, seen predominantly on its square screen and pulpit. Its ceiling paintings are the work of Miguel Villarreal, a native of Bulhoon. The three gates and the walls of the church are made of coral stones and were constructed from 1802 to 1808 under the auspices of Fray Julian Bermejo. The church has undergone several reconstructions and repairs. In 1783, Poloon rose from the ashes as it rebuilt its church with coral stones and lime mortar. Located on the central niche of the main altar is the image of Bolhoon's patroness, Our Lady of Patrocinio, one of the few Marian advocations invoked in the country. Amidst the flames that destroy the church in both accounts, the image of Our Lady of Patrocinio was miraculously saved and still intact when Fray Juan Pinili rescued it from the flames in 1615. The image today retains its beauty through the many centuries of destruction as when it was first carved. In celebration of the 500 years of Christianity in the country, the Patrocinio de Maria Parish is one of the 13 churches in Cebu designated with the Holy Door, which enables its devotees to gain plenary indulgence. The image of Our Lady of Patronage may have suffered several ordeals in the past years, but the image remained unmoved and withstood it. Like her image, no matter how obstacles in life would shake our faith, may we remain unfazed and trust in His plans for us. I'm Verly, and join me as we venture onto the next destination, where a patron who is a lover of contemplative prayer is known. Tana! Kuyog Taninyo.